We do. We have a bronze wing corso who is holding dinner in its mouth. I think it's dinner. Or it could be a piece of grass that's maybe stuck to its mouth. It's a little bit difficult to see. Its beak is covered in sand though, which to me says that it has probed it into the ground at some point to catch something. What are you, what are you dangling? That could be from a caterpillar. That could be from a grasshopper. It is definitely not the entire animal. There's only a very small amount of it left. But come on, eat it for us. Don't be camera shy. I think it's contemplating whether to fly or not. See how it's sort of bending its legs slightly, getting ready to sort of take off. There you go. Eat it. Eat your dinner and then you may leave us. But these birds, it's amazing how they hide about during the day. I always think it is so incredible how you never see them during the day. And that's, of course, because they're predominantly nocturnal and they prefer to come out at night under the safety of darkness and they also they're not competing with the crowned lapwings or the senegal lapwings the three banded plovers the blacksmith lapwings they're really only competing out here with the thick knees so the spotted thick knee the water thick knees and i'm trying to think what else we sort of see running around on the ground at night for insects ah oh, night jars will be a couple of night jars too that they'll be competing with and of course the smaller species of owls like the barred owlet. But other than that, there's actually less nocturnal birds out and about that we see on the roads. But it is great to see this little guy. Thank you. Did you enjoy your snack? Now catch a scorpion. Go and find us a scorpion, please, Bert. Go now. Go off. Go off and find us a scorpion. You can do it. It looks like it is listening to me. Yes. Are you going to take off now? Yes, run and find the scorpion. That's a good bird. Now there's lots of insects flying around on the ground in front of it. Perhaps we're going to see a kill this evening. There's moths, there's antlions fluttering about and I'm surprised that there are no night jars sitting on the road at the moment. Although there's not much moon. But the stars are out so an insect could definitely be silhouetted against the sky. And now you've been decided you're not going to catch anything else. Yes, go for that moth that's behind you. I can see it's teasing you. It's luring you in. Go for it. Eat it. That could be another contender as to what this bird was feeding on. It could have also been a moth of some sort. No, not interested. Just petrified of us. Okay, let's not scare this bird anymore then. We will let it be on its way. 